All right, Mr. Teleferro TV. So I love having conversations on my platform. So so the reason why I'm doing this is because I just checked out the Joe Budden podcast. I watch that podcast every week, my favorite hip-hop podcast out right now. And I try to have at least one topic that they talked about, and I try to react to it, and we talk about it on my platform. So they talked about today, um, one of the topics was the Takashi 69 Breakfast Club interview, which is their most viewed video ever, their most viewed interview ever outside of Birdman, which I don't count. Cause it wasn't an interview. Um, and Joe Budden says, you know, I really wasn't checking for this Takashi 69 kid, but I was very impressed with that interview. He controlled the room with radio veterans in the room, you know, and that's saying a lot. Joe Budden's got a lot of respect for Charlamagne, or he says he has a lot of respect for him. So Joe Budden went on to say, I'm not going to lie. Takashi's got a few records on the charts. He sold a decent amount of records. He might be the hottest rapper out in the world right now because Joe's looking at the fact that there are a lot of artists coming to Takashi 69 to start stuff with him. I think Rory might have said he's the reaction guy. Or Maul or one of the two said, yo, a lot of what's going on with Takashi is him reacting to people dissing him and starting with him. And they're right. Say what y'all want. The game started with Takashi 69. You could say he might have been provoked because Takashi was saying he was the king or whatever. They started beef. They put to the game and YG and Wack 100 and all them put the put Takashi's name in their mouth before Takashi said anything about about them, right? And that's most of Takashi's issues. People are talking about him, and then he's responding. They don't like his persona, right? And then he's responding. With that being said, I gotta pose the question to my subscribers, man. I don't know a lot of people who could do five to six million views in like four days in an interview like i don't know a lot of people who goes up to the breakfast club and i think joe budden might have spoke on this and and you don't promote music right you go to that platform to get everything off and promote everything he didn't do that and he was like just ask me whatever i don't need y'all platform to promote music and i think there was some troll elements in the interview but i've made this is like my fifth or sixth video on this interview on this interview right that means something. That means it's still the topic of conversations when I go out. Everybody's talking to me about this interview, right? Is Takashi 69 the hottest rapper in the game right now? He's the most talked about for sure. I'm talking about we're talking about Takashi 69, and it's not for the music. Let's make that clear. We're talking about Takashi 69 more than people are talking about Drake this week. Drake's got the number one record in the country. He's got the number one record in the country for almost 10 weeks now. We're talking about him more than the Kendrick, the big. He has literally, him and Cardi B have pretty much controlled the headlines the last couple months. Does this make him the hottest rapper in the game? Y'all talk to me. Comment box below. All opinions are needed. And the reason why my thumbnail is Takashi 69 and Gary Owens, because Gary Owens, Takashi's so hot, Gary Owens just used his whole interview with the Breakfast Club, right? He's not getting another Breakfast Club interview tomorrow. He used the whole thing to dress up as Takashi, right? He did the hair and everything. He did that because he knew the interview would do more views if Grant, instead of him just going up there as Gary Owen. It was a nice plot. It was a it was a ploy to get more people to, to, to watch his interview, and it worked. Takashi's so damn hot right now. There are people dressing up to be him to get more views. That's got to mean something. And I think a lot of people around the world who don't like his music, don't like Gummo and all that. And I've said I'm not the biggest fan of Takashi's music yet. But I think it needs to be worth noting that there are a lot of kids in this world and they get on YouTube. And they're going to these Takashi shows when, he, when, when they're available. These kids love him. Love him. I would say if you ask four kids, teens, do they like Takashi 69 three three and a half of them will say yeah right one will be on the fence y'all talk to me in the comment box below i want y'all to answer those questions that i asked y'all is takashi the hottest rapper in the game and other things as well I'm out. i want to salute you homie you know for for building your own thing and doing your own thing creating your own platform your own website i got one life to live out my dreams and i'm giving this thing all i got i interview celebrities i talk sports i rep Represent the culture. All right now you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, Shawty. Yeah.